Hello everybody. So today we are going to continue to show how the transformation uh, to a canonical form for a second order PDE can be shown. Okay, so if you recall our first e video um, on second order, if we are given a second order in this form, xy plus cuyy plus d u x plus e u y plus f u equals to g so we can we have shown using a transformation where um we have uh, u of psi and eta so using psi and eta as the as the transform variables so we can reduce this to a canonical form given i a star u psi psi plus b star u psi eta plus c star u eta eta plus d star u psi plus e star u eta plus f star u equals to g star where where my a star is actually my a psi x square plus b psi x psi y plus c psi y squared okay meanwhile my b star is equals to 2a psi x eta x plus b psi x eta y plus psi y eta x plus 2c psi y oops sorry psi y eta y okay so and then we have c star is given as a eta x squared plus b eta x eta y plus c eta y squared now my d star is given as a psi x x plus b psi x y plus c psi y y plus d psi x plus e psi y now this can get a little complicated so just bear with me and then we have e star equals to a psi x x plus b psi x y plus c eta y y so it's not psi it's eta i would say wrongly plus d eta x plus e eta y okay and then my f star which is also equals to my f and g star equals to my g so these are the transform equation using psi and eta so if i call this equation one and this whole thing can be my equation two okay so now the few steps to solve this second order so um let's look at um scope a few steps so um put here steps to solve second order PDE 
to canonical form. Okay, so the step number one is to first to determine the types of BDE. Now we know there are several types. Okay, we know that um, uh, elliptic, parabolic, and hyperbolic. Okay, that depends on your um, coefficient you obtain from. If let's say we have b squared minus 4ac less than 0, we have elliptic. Now, parabolic will be b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. And hyperbolic is b squared minus 4ac greater than 0. Now, once we have obtained the types of BDE, okay, the second step will be to find the characteristic slope. Slope involving psi, involving psi and eta. Okay, so um, this can be found by using uh, the definition for the slope, which is dy dx equals to negative psi x over psi y, which is also given by negative b plus b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay and then to find um so this equation so this is equation for psi so normally this is my psi and then the second one dy dx which is equals to negative eta x over eta y which is given by negative b minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay so once we have find the characteristic slope for psi and eta the third step is to Find the curve, psi. Find the curve, psi, x, y, which is my c1, and eta, x, y, which is my c2. Okay? And then the fourth step is to find, so once you find the curve, Write it in terms of um, C1 and C2. We can find Psi X, Psi Y, Eta X, and Eta Y. Now, once you find all this variable, step number 5 is to substitute into equation 2. What is the equation 2? So, equation 2 is this equation. Where we have my um, A star, B star, C star, D star, A star, and so on. So, this is equation 2. Remember, we have found psi x, psi y, eta x, eta y. Okay, so once you have found all this psi value and put it into sub 2, now we will have a simpler form. We have a simpler form where some of the terms can, will be equal to 0. So this will involve you, you can solve for for u psi eta. Okay, once it's reduced to a very simpler form, you can 
solve it for you so you do that and then obviously my last step is to transform back to u x y now since we have a second order this is we have a second order so our function here will be to depend on f and g so um we need to um uh, take that into account okay so these are the steps to solve second order pde where you transform the second order to a canonical form involving psi and eta so in my, in, our, in my next video we will uh, i'll give you some examples on how to do that okay so that's all we'll see you in my next video bye